And the reason why you'd want to do such a mod is there's a couple things you could do. You can improve battery efficiency, you could improve performance and kill your battery, and you could even catch it on fire. So it's really fun. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today is going to be something a bit different than usual on my channel, but it still has to do with ESCs and some sort of a wireless controller. So today we're going to be talking about VESCs. What I've done today is I've purchased a new one from Flipsky. Now this one is a dual VESC, which will allow me to upgrade my WowGo. Now if you've watched my channel previously, I did upgrade one of my WowGos, but I bought two separate ESCs. And actually, I never wrote it since because it was such a really disgusting uh, execution that I just, you know, I didn't trust it. I just always thought it would catch fire from just riding it because there was just no space. However, this thing just completely takes such minimal amount of space. Not only that, it has a bunch of features and they have a really great remote. I think this is one of the best remotes you can currently purchase for a VESC other than the open source one. So this is a really nice pre-made or finished model if you might say you have reverse you have cruise control you have ppm output you also have uart and battery reading as well and this is the receiver that they supply with it's crazy because they give you so many things now for the receiver you can just stick it in like this and you're good to go but i'm not going to be doing that so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to use one of the uarts here and what's really nice as you can tell they provide that whole cable for you and this is a really big deal actually uh, more than most might think so. So as you can tell, we can place that in like this. Even then, I'm not going to put this whole bulky setup here. I will solder direct to it. And the connector here will go straight into... You have two options, basically. But I'm going to give it straight power and one of the UARTs here. That's what that does. And then you have this extra white wire. This one is going to be reading your battery voltage. And it will have to be soldered to the bat right there. So I'll probably end up soldering that in the back. And obviously, I'll make videos on how I'm setting this up as I go. And what's really cool with this is it's using a micro USB. So it makes it a little bit better than the other ones, which use a uh, mini USB. So you got two micro USBs for each ESC here, ESC1 and ESC2. So it's really nice in that perspective. Modding a WowGo or a Meepo board or whatever those, you know, the hub motor boards, it's not really a smooth transition because they are censored motors. And uh, this does have the sensor set up, but you will not be able to connect it directly. There are some modifications you have to do. It's not, it's not really modifications, but you just there's a way to connect the sensors to this ESC, which I've done in my previous videos. And again, we'll cover uh, into a bit more detail here. Now, they do provide you with everything you need, even for the ESC here. What they give us is anti-spark start switch which is really nice that comes with the model these are all silicone here and it just comes with everything you need which is really cool and uh, if you're using ppm they already even have a ppm wire prepared for you so you can set that up i could run this in ppm mode also but i'm going to remove these and salvage these wires because these are really nice silicone wires here also they provide you the cables for the censored motors however not the ones that we currently find with hub motors such as Meepo and WowGo but I will use this cable They give you two of these so obviously because it's like two ESCs in one and uh, I'm gonna end up using this here now if you are somewhat experienced and you're planning on doing something like this what you want to do is obviously install this into their place which would be right here and if we get a closer look at this, what you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see, you'll see that it says 5 volt TM H1, H2, H3 and a, and a ground. Now, the, the boards that with, with the, the Meepo and the WowGo boards that come with the sensor, they don't have TM. So all you need to do is figure out which one's 5 volts, very important, and which one's ground. And then the H1, 2, and 3 are the other wires. It doesn't matter what orientation you put them, but that's the Hall Effect Sensor 1, Hall Effect Sensor 2, Hall Effect Sensor 3. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get those right, you're going to be totally fine. The positive and the negative. Avoid the TM. And then the other three wires, it does not matter the orientation they go in. So keep that in mind. The sensor connector coming out of the WowGo and Meepo boards for the motor is pretty much colored correctly. So the black is ground. The 5-volt is 
I mean, the red is the five volt. And then the rest, you'll just have three more wires. And now it'll just go H1, H2, H3. And again, it doesn't matter the orientation. Obviously, we have two, so we're going to have to do this to both sides. And I will have to cut this heat shrink off and possibly design some 3D printed part for this to keep it secure. The remote's really nice. It does have haptic feedback. I just received them like an hour ago, and I've been waiting forever to get these because they've been stuck in customs. And uh, I'm really excited to get my other board running. And the reason why you'd want to do such a mod is there's a couple things you could do. You can improve battery efficiency. You could improve performance and kill your battery. And you could even catch it on fire. So it's really fun. You just don't know what's going to happen if you don't know what you're doing. But it, to be honest, it just gives you much more flexibility. You could get more performance out of it if you have a bunch of steep hills. You can actually start climbing those, but obviously it does have its pros and its cons. For example, you want a bunch of power that's going to degrade the battery much faster. Uh, if you want more braking power that can degrade the motors much faster because it, you know, the braking just generates a lot of heat and you know, you just have to find that sweet spot, but overall you can get a noticeable performance boost without running any of those risks. And if you want to go super extreme, then you will run those risks. And I just really like that flexibility and it just brings new life into the board. And not only that, you can, you know, increase your battery's the voltage. So instead of a 10S, cause those all usually come at 10S, you can upgrade to 11S, 12S. I think this is a maximum of 12S, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'll have everything linked down below if you wanna go and check those out. Yeah, this is a FlipSky dual ESC and this is the FlipSky Remote VX1. So it's, it's really nice. It's kind of like the Wowgo and the Meepo. Um, it's not one of the, you know, the first gen really crappy ones and it does read the battery that's in here and the battery in the board it does ha it has cruise control. It's, I'm, I'm never going to use it, but it has cruise control. It has reverse mode and it speaks over UART and PPM. So it's really nice in that perspective. And obviously micro USB and they provide that for you. That's going to conclude it for this video, guys. If you guys are interested in the complete makeover of my other board, I'll post some pictures right now of how it is and why I just really never wrote it because it was just super chaotic. And this one is going to be a night and day difference. And as you can tell right there, basically takes no space. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.